Moon Base Office status report, 342 days after leaving Earth orbit. Dr. Helena Russell recording. We have just survived our second encounter with a space warp. Central Computer states that we've been catapulted six light years from our previous position. We've had no casualties this time. Our population remains stable at 297. However, one of our life support systems was severely damaged. We have a survey eagle reconnoitering a nearby planet in an attempt to locate titanium, a rare metal needed to prepare that life support system. Entering the atmosphere now, Commander. Thank you. Atmosphere breathable. We're in close visual contact with the planet. Fraser, any signs of life? No settlements, no life. Nothing, Commander, except volcanoes. Fraser, scan for mineral compositions. Scanner active. Stand by to lock it to main computer. Dr. Russell. Titanium. Eagle One, return to base. Right, Commander. of the titanium deposits. Magnify. Fraser, there's a strange light coming off that planet. Give me a position. It's on your flight path. Get out of there. What is that thing? An energy weapon of some kind. Security alert. All standby crews to position. Rescue, Rescue Eagle, Eagle stop alert. alert. Laser, Laser crews, crews have been in position one one time. Evasive of action, Fraser! Evasive of action! Checked and double checked, Commander. There is no life sign on the surface. What about below the surface? That planet is an environmental hell. No life as we know it could exist down there. Commander Koenig. You know who I am. Who are you? I am Mentor of the planet Psychon. Why did you attack our ship? We came in peace. You sent an armed ship to our planet and talk of peace. That ship was a survey vessel searching for minerals. We had no way of knowing your planet was inhabited. Yes, a familiar argument, Commander. 
One that has caused the death of millions of our people. Other outsiders have used the same pretext to attack us in the past. And we have suffered Easy now. Great. Easy. What's oh, happened to my people? Come on, Come on. Your Come pilots on. are safe, Demand. But their evil is beyond repair. <gasps> he said they're safe. Return my men, Mentor, and we'll go in peace. They're alive. Any bills That's alive. That's what you want, isn't it? Yes, Commander, please. You have my solemn pledge that no hostile action will be taken by us. And I accept your pledge. So, let us arrange the return of your pilots. Send another eagle, and I'll instruct you where to land. No, I, I'm afraid that could cause further misunderstanding. I suggest we rendezvous, but in space. It seems that you trust us as little as we trust you. In our past history, we've been betrayed too. Let us meet in space then, Commander. You say that you need minerals. Very well. Send along a scientific officer to discuss the technical requirements. And, uh, you shall have them. That's very generous of you. Thank you. Incidentally, one of your pilots suffered minor injuries. So, uh, perhaps you could, uh, also send along a medical officer. It will be done. Good. I look forward to meeting you, Commander. Mentor? Helen? Put Eagle 4 on a pad ready for immediate liftoff. And Alan, equip it with additional booster units. Right. Booster units? You're in a hurry to get out there, aren't you? I may be in a hurry to get back. What do you think of these Alphans, Meyer? I like them, Father. They're very attractive, aren't they? Quite unlike any of the others. Mm. They obviously come from a culture as similar to our own. But uh, not so advanced, of course. Would I make a good Alphan father? Stop it, Maya. I teach you the priceless art of molecular transformation and see how you use it. Foolish games. Oh, Father, you only taught me because you knew I'd eventually master the art myself. <laughs> True. You are clever, Maya. But one day we must find a better outlet for your gifts. I'd help you in your work if you'd like. Oh, no, no, no. There is a great deal about the work that I do, but you do not understand as yet. Oh, Father. Ah, 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 ah. Not yet. And these Alphans, will they help you to restore our planet? Yes, Maya. And now, my dear, run along. Come on. Prepare the Alphan pilot. Hey, where do you think you're going? Back to my station. She needs to rest. You think you can handle it? Oh, please, Doctor, I feel much better now. Well, maybe it is better to keep busy. Now, don't overdo it, all right? No, I won't. Yes, Commander. We'll bring him back. Thank you. Good luck. John Koenig, 
First rendezvous point. My ship will join you shortly, Commander. There it is. I want a full scan on that ship. Mentor, signal when you're ready for link up. I repeat, signal when you're ready to dock. Mentor. John, there are no life forms on that ship. Fraser, Torrens, they're not on it. The ship is empty. Picking up magnetic disturbance, Tony. We're losing altitude. Mentor's ship is radiating magnetic energy. He's using it like a magnet, pulling you down to his planet. Full power. Half thrust. Boosters, three quarter power. She won't take it. She'll break up. Boosters, full power. Clear, Tony. Returning to base. John, that ship, it's turning into a ball of light. response. Graveyard of spaceships. Yeah, we're right in the middle of it. Eagle 4 to Moon Base Alpha. Come in, Alpha. Do you read me? Eagle 4 to Moon Base. Oh, I, I can't raise them, Commander. Keep trying. Welcome to Psycho. Don't be alarmed, Commander. I'm never alarmed when I deal with a man of integrity. I see that you are angry. And I must admit you have cause. But please, bear with me, and you'll understand. I'll understand what you want me to understand after I see my people. My actions are in both our interests. He's lying! Don't trust him, he's lying! Commander, we're being held. Please forgive the interruption. Your pilot is in a feverish state. In that case, I want to examine him. You will, Doctor, in good time. 
Now, please, remain in your ship until we contact you. Let's go. Let's make for that cave. scanning Sandra they're down there somewhere look I know they are down there but I cannot get a reading all we get is a planet's surface yeah our beam is bouncing off a scanner shield of some kind we're not going to read anything they don't want us to read is she going to be all right she will as long as she knows that he is alive oh, I'm worried she's going to crack up be patient with her Tony they have only been married two months. Yeah. Observe. An increase in Psyche's power levels. How? One of the Alphan pilots has been in rapport with her. And this, this is the result. He agreed? Oh, yes. And there are no harmful side effects? None. But that's wonderful, Father. Will the rest of them help us too? Yes, I'm sure they will. They are intelligent people. Lou, titanium? Yes, it is. Oh, a few more hunks like this is all we need. They must be from those spaceships we saw out there. Ja. 
John. Okay. John. Are you okay? Yeah. It was a force field. That charge was only set to stun. Molecular transformation. We've seen it in the spaceship and the balls of light. Here it is again. Surrender your weapons, Commander. There is an energy screen around this image. You cannot get through. Lou, how can we get past that energy screen? His image is only a communication circuit. Laser energy might just be able to overload it. I warn you, Koenig. Any force you use will be turned against you. I think I can neutralize it. Wait! Ah! 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 And uh, to resist is foolish. Hello. Very well. I meant no harm. Your seconds are full of fun and games. Who are you? Maya, Manto's daughter. His daughter? <laughs> and just as tricky. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have warned you about the force field. Of course. Where's the rest of my party? Why are you so unfriendly? I've been lied to, assaulted, seen my people brutalized, killed. Shall I go on? Obviously, Commander, you have not fully recovered. Mento betrayed us, viciously destroyed. My father would harm no one. Come. He wants to see you. Commander.
Uh, uh, not now, my dear. The commander and I have important business to discuss. Father, the commander is very unhappy. I want to be here when you explain. <laughs> Don't worry, my. He'll understand. Psyche, commander. A biological computer. Create the minds and bodies of those of our people who survived the disaster which overwhelmed us and nature ran wild. Better. Where are my people? Study Psyche first, Commander. Our destinies are linked, you know. We'll determine our own destinies. You've seen this planet, a volcanic furnace. But through Psyche, I shall transform it, change it back into the beautiful world it once was. A world fit enough for our civilization to begin again. All right, Mentor, you have a beautiful dream. I'll talk more about it after I see my people. Commander. Psyche. Psyche needs energy to complete its task. Energy that is only found in the minds of intelligent life forms. In other words, Commander, she needs your out. There is no other energy source. I also need them to dig the metal to Psyche's physical being. You expect me to submit my people to, to this obscenity? Your presence here in space has given me a chance, perhaps my only chance, to make my world live again. Regretfully, you have no choice. You must submit. Oh, yes. Psyche has the power of molecular transformation. Power can transform matter into any form or shape I choose. Observe your lunar landscape. section we picked up a sudden energy charge of enormous thrust in the research area send out a unit to investigate yes sir refuse what i ask and i shall reduce your moon to ashes you're right mentor we can't fight you thank you for your cooperation no you're not reading me go ahead destroy the moon but you want me to bring down violent death on your people at least they'll die quickly i have the power koenig and the will to do it. Destroy the moon and you defeat yourself. No moon, no elephants. Do what I ask. You and your friends will be spared. A place will be found for you on the new Psychon. No. You, uh, wish to know about the rest of your party. In a few moments, their minds will be squeezed dry, and Psyche shall have them. There's still time, Commander. Commander. You win. Tony, it is coming from the 
planet. Punch it up. John, we've given you up. Commander, what's happening? Tony, I've got good news. We've made contact with the people down here. Our senses misinformed us about this planet. There are huge subterranean areas which are habitable. What's more, we've been given permission to settle here. I want you to evacuate Moon Base Alpha as soon as possible. Evacuate? I want you to ship our people down here in phased relays. He's selling out. Can't be. We heard him. No, but it was done something to him. Well, just like that. No study, no research. Just pack up and go down. Are you Why disputing are my doing? order? Well, I'm not disputing, John. Just well, it is unusual procedure. Directive four. It empowers the commander to act in a situation like this. You will do as ordered. The evacuation procedure is all laid down. Signal when you're ready to land the first wave. Out. Thank you, Koenig. was the only way out. You should be grateful. You have your lives. The price is too high. Our survival. John, what about the people on Alpha? What about them, Commander? Now look, you can end up like those creatures in the caves, but not me. is refusing access to Directive 4. I will need the security code. I know what Directive 4 is. Well, at least somebody is happy. What is Directive 4? It's a coded signal. A clear instruction to destroy the place it originated from. Destroy the planet? But they are still down there. It's mandatory. And you will carry it out? Return to your position. No way out. You mean we just do nothing? We're trapped in here. Robot Eagle, ready to launch? Estimated time of arrival at attack position, 1520. Attack position? Maximum destructive power. When that Eagle hits Cyclone, there will be nothing left of the planet. What are you doing? Obeying orders. You can't! They're still down there! So is the commander and Dr. Russell and the rest of them. Are you going to destroy the planet? Directive 4 cannot be countermanded. What is Directive 4? Can't we double check? I could try and raise the commander, get clarification. John Koenig wouldn't give that order unless this base and all the people on it face destruction. Launch Robot Eagle. Ah, no! 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 no.
Commander. One of your transport regals is on its way. Again, I want to assure you that you and your friends will not be harmed. That eagle. No life forms. It is a robot device programmed to destroy Psychon. Primitive. And how disgusting that the commander should descend to such deception. Don't confront him yet, my dear. Let him think that he has deceived us. I don't have your tolerance. Now, who is the betrayer, Commander? Did you think that your childish trick would go undetected? We live in hope. Sending a robot eagle to destroy this planet. You're a self-sacrificing fool! I'm sorry I had a particular ringer, but I, I just couldn't take the chance of telling you. First, I shall destroy your eagle. Then your moon, Commander. Mentor. That way we both lose. Let's negotiate. Negotiate? With a liar? You disgust me. We welcome you as friends and you plot to kill us. What do you expect us to do? Stand by while Mentor destroys us? My father is an honorable man. Why do you think he wants us here? You know why. Without help, he can't transform this planet. Other people helped us. Yes, yes. And what's happened to them? They attained happiness. Rapport with Psyche benefits everyone. Maya, that machine destroys people's minds. Is there no vile thing you won't say against my father? Go down to the caves and see for yourself. Nobody's allowed down there. They're radioactive. Who says so, Mentor? There's nobody down there, I tell you. Maya, we've been there. Go and see, see what we've seen. Mindless hulks, destroyed by your father. That's not true. Go and see, and then come back here and let us out so we can stop them. No. Maya, please, go and see. You're lying. Go and see. Go and see. You're lying. section? Our eagle was intercepted. We might be in for an attack. Activate defense shields. Yes, sir. Commander. Koenig! Alpha will be destroyed piece by piece. And you are the one who caused it. We've got to make a deal with him. 
feeble against him. We can't stop him unless we get out of here. We've got to break that force field. Fire! Commander! What's happening? They're coming right through our defense shield. What was it? An energy bolt of enormous power. Launch eagles for a full attack. I will, but I don't think anything is going to help. No, neither do I. Fire, release the force field. He's going to destroy 300 more people unless we stop him. Promise that mentor will not be harmed. I want to stop him, not harm him. Alan, get to the Eagle. Prepare for liftoff. Helena, you and Fraser, get torn. Let's go. Maya, what are you doing? Eagle 
Eagle Four from Alpha. Eagle Four from Alpha. Yeah, go ahead, Alpha. Razor? Yeah? Got something for you. We'll soon be back on Alpha. In time, you'll forget. It's just hard to stop thinking about Picard and Torrance. I know. And losing mine. You have a new life with us. Your science is so far ahead of ours. There's a place for you on Alpha. Everywhere but on Psychon. I'll be an alien. 